On 14th of November 1943, Noshera, a small town then in northwestern India, was blessed with a baby boy. His parents called him Mahmood, the praised one. Mahmood grew up to become Dr. Mahmood Khwaja, a global protector of environment and a bulwark against the spread of chemical pollutants. More than a quarter of a century ago, his vision could see what disaster is teaching us now. Upright and bold person. He had his own principles, his own values, beliefs, which he followed very strictly. Uh, he was an accomplished researcher. He would link results of his research to policy through recommendations. So much keen on sharing results of his toil that he would not wait. On his deathbed, uh, the message that he sent me, uh, it was about his forthcoming publication uh, for which he wanted uh, to uh, make sure that uh, it is uploaded uh, on the web page. An avid researcher is drowned in the thought, but it would not stop him from helping administration taking executive decisions. Establishing negative impact of hazardous chemical on human health was his major contribution. He brought private sector together towards a shared realization that hazardous chemicals coming out of the industrial process has a cost, both monetary and non-monetary, which can keep us from achieving sustainable development goals. Dr. Khwaja was at the forefront of uh, informing the government about their responsibility towards the international conventions around hazardous chemicals. So whenever there was a turnover in the government, whenever the institutional memory was weak, he was there to remind the government of their responsibility. His contribution in implementing Minamata Convention, demanding ban on use of mercury, is recognized globally. So much that President Arif Alvi, a dentist himself, would talk to him during official ceremonies to firm up a thing or two. His firmed up research standards would not negate his honest and loving human side. The coin was fully valid on both sides. The person behind the persona was made up of pure silk. He would fill up balloons for his grandchildren and take them to the garden. He was uh, very friendly almost to all the family members, to his brothers who are now uh, have passed away, brothers, sisters and other relatives as well. And he used to value the guidelines or some suggestions from the females, especially his better half, his wife, his sisters, his colleagues. His genuine nature would win him friends among the acquaintances too. He made an effort much more to be a friend to me than to be a, to be a father. That's something that is that is that was rare at at that time. अब तो काफी common है but उस वक्त बहुत rare था कि आप रोब जमाने के बजाय आप दोस्ती का तालु रखें अपने बेटे के साथ. I owe him for that. His wife is a witness of his honest and dedicated life. After his marriage, he never listened to anyone else, she says. He would use his institutional memory to the administration. At an annual retreat, the atmosphere was tense, and the mercury was high on stopping the use of mercury. Dr. Khwaja was expressing his disagreement vocally. An intellectual cul-de-sac, Brigadier Mohammad Yasin stood up and assumed the mic. Dr. Khaja was expressing his disagreement very vocally. Uh, I got up and I said, Wa janab Khaja ji, visionary to hai aap bhi, bhala environment aur mercury, alag bhi huye hai kabhi, yahi to hypothesis hai aap ka, phir jagda kaun si baat ka, au milke ye kahe, अभी तो हम जवान हैं अभी तो हम जवान हैं महमूद इज नो मोर आई स्टिल कॉन्ट बिलीव इज गॉन डॉक्टर ख्वाजा वॉज वन ऑफ 
our refined uh, colleagues, uh, a thorough gentleman and uh, a very hardworking researcher. May also uh, join <coughs> others in conveying my deep condolences in Khwaja Mahmood, uh, in the passing away of Khwaja Mahmood, who was such a rich resource person and a very good scholar. He fades away for sure. His memory will always be young.